and welcome back to Storytime with the Washington County Public Library. Today we have a fun little learner story time all about gardens. Before we hop into our story time, I want to touch on our five keys to early literacy that we use in every story time, where we read, write, sing, talk, and play together in order to build those pre-reading and early learning and school readiness skills. So let's start with our opening song, where we clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. All right, so our first fun activity is a song, and this is called Bugs in the Garden. And you may know the tune of this, it is to the tune of the classic, The Wheels on the Bus. The ladybugs on the plants have lots of spots, lots of spots, lots of spots. Ladybugs on the plants have lots of spots out in the yard. The bees in the flowers go buzz, 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 buzz. The bees in the flowers go buzz, buzz, buzz out in the garden. The worms in the ground go wiggle and squirm. <clears throat> The worms in the ground wiggle and squirm, wiggle and squirm, wiggle and squirm. The worms in the ground wiggle and squirm out in the garden. <laughs> so let's start with our first book of this story time, which is the wonderful My Garden by Kevin Hanks. My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so they don't <clears throat> and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden there would be no weeds and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. In my garden, the flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate and I would eat them. If I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up. Buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds, so that the air was humming with wings. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would grow like lanterns. Wow. It's night now. Only the fireflies in the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and I go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? 
I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? asks my mother. Oh, nothing, I say, just working in the garden. <laughs> that is so fun. I love the imagination of the little girl in my garden by Kevin Hanks. If you could have anything happen in your garden, what would happen? What kinds of flowers would you grow? And what kind of animals would come visit you? You can explore all the ways that this little girl's garden grows in My Garden by Kevin Hanks, available from the Gray Library. All right, friends. So now we're going to pretend that we are butterflies and do an action rhyme. Butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. Flapping your wings as you go, flapping your wings up high and then down low. <laughs> butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. Butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. Flapping your wings as you go, flapping your wings up high then down low. <laughs> butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. <laughs> Great job. I hope you had fun pretending to be a butterfly. Now friends, let's practice the letter G. This is something a little different for our story times, but it's super important that we learn about all the great things that the letter G does for us. There are a ton of wonderful words that start with the letter G, including garden and gold and gummy worms and grapes and the color green. Now, can you practice with me in the air drawing a lowercase letter G? It starts with a circle and then it has a little curly tail at the end. <laughs> or a capital G, which looks kind of like the letter C and then it comes straight in and you have a capital G. I encourage you to try and practice the letter G. <clears throat> I encourage you to practice writing the letter G either on a piece of paper with a crayon or a pencil, or you can just pretend to write it with your finger on your leg. All right, so now it's time to read our second story of this story time. And this is Jack's Garden by Henry Cole. This is the garden that Jack planted. And he has some tools that he used. He used a garden claw pruning shears, a trowel, a rake, a hose, a shovel, and a watering can, and a hoe. This is the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. There's a ton of stuff that lives in the soil, including earthworms and a star-nosed mole and ground beetles, and slugs, and fly pupa, beetle larva, slug eggs, moth larva, cicada larva, a cicada, and so many more. These are the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. Let's see what kind of seeds he planted. He planted lupine seeds, phlox seeds, dianthus seeds, hollyhock seeds, poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, milkweed seeds, and so many more.
this is the rain that wets the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. We have a couple different kinds of clouds up here. We have a cumulonimbus cloud. That's a funny word to say. Can you say that? Cumulonimbus. <laughs> we also have a cumulus cloud, a stratus cloud, a cirrus cloud, and a cirrocumulus cloud. These are the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. We have seed leaves and the seedlings have roots. There's also a stem and there are a bunch of things here in the garden, including a centipede and a millipede, a robin who's eating a worm. There's sow bugs and there's a germinating seed and there are some adult leaves. These are the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. Let's see what's growing in his garden now. We have bee balm and an allium. Do you know what an allium is? Onions and garlic are part of the allium family. Hollyhocks, spiderwort, columbine, and hawkweed. But we also have a bunch of garden critters that are in here. We have, we have an argiope spider, which I often call a riding spider. We have a goldenrod spider, a swallowtail larva that turns into a beautiful butterfly. We have a lacewing, a firefly, a stink bug, a praying mantis, and a garter snake. These are the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. Let's see what buds are growing now. We have buttercup buds and dianthus buds, foxglove buds, poppy buds, phlox buds, and milkweed buds. We also have a ton of different types of beetles that all kind of look like ladybugs. Now these are the flowers that blossomed from the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. And we have aster and red clover and white clover, black-eyed Susans, lupin, wild geranium, yarrow, mullein, coreopsis, bee balm, pinks, a daisy, spiderwort, bluet, fleabane, and so many more. And these are the insects that sipped nectar from the flowers, that blossomed from the buds, that formed on the plants, that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. We have a sulfur butterfly, an admiral butterfly, a swallowtail butterfly, a purple coneflower, a milkweed bug, a green june bug, a blue butterfly, a soldier beetle, a skipper butterfly, a Sarah orange tip butterfly, a buckeye butterfly, a metallic bee, a copper butterfly, and a long horned beetle. 
And these are the birds that chase the insects, that sip the nectar from the flowers, that blossomed from the buds, that formed on the plants, that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. And we have a yellow warbler, a barn swallow, uh, a vireo, a catbird, a bluebird, and a goldfinch. And this is the garden that Jack planted. Look how beautiful the garden is. Wow, that is so much fun. And our author, Henry Cole, left us a bunch of great information about how we can start our own garden. All right, so let's now do our next activity which is a fun action rhyme. The rain is falling down, splash. The rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter. The rain is falling down, splash. The rain is falling down, splash. The rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter, the rain is falling down. Splash! All right, friends, I'm afraid it's time to close off our story time today with our closing song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye everyone, thanks so much for watching.